This morning we want to welcome dietitian nutritionist Monique Richard back to the daytime kitchen. And you know, with the with the temperatures outside right now, I yeah. mean, we're going to hit 90 again today, probably again tomorrow. Maybe have a little cooler off this weekend. But it, you've got to remember to stay hydrated. Exactly. And a great way to, we talked about that, you know, through water and things of that nature. Yep. You also can do it with your diet. As exactly. Well. And why not do it in Farmers Market yeah, exactly. Week, right? It's farmers when you get Market Week. Fresh tomatoes and cucumbers, oh. and, and we can have hydrating side dishes that. Mm -hmm. Are nourishing, yes. that are refreshing, that are fun, that you don't necessarily think about. So we're yeah. talking gazpacho today. Okay. Do you now, know gazpacho? I have. I am. I'm going to be completely transparent and honest here. I've never had gazpacho. Okay. I've heard about it. And I never had it. You're going to be a little bit of a guinea pig today. Uh, so we're going to get an I'm, honest I'm reaction. <laughs> I'm one of those people. Honestly, I will try anything one time. I give yep. everything a chance. Exactly. Okay? And actually, research has shown it takes us 15 to 20 times to try something to decide if we like it or not. Well, especially growing, with children. Growing up, tomatoes, mm -hmm. raw tomatoes, yep. wouldn't touch them. Nothing. But now, can't get enough of them. Awesome. Well, yeah. good. So we can change. Okay. We can. <laughs> so we have gazpacho today. So okay. gazpacho originates in a region in Spain, okay. Andalusia, or Andalusia, if you um, pronounce it Spanish. Um, so we have... Obviously, tomato gazpacho is very, very well known. Okay. Um, but they used to use stale bread oh. to make it thicker. And so, actually, some bread is in there. So, okay. you put it in water for a little bit and then drain the water out and mix it up with vegetables. So, gazpacho is just classic cold vegetables blended up. Okay. Okay, so that's what you're trying a little bit later oh. or now. Nope. You can do it now. Well, let's hold on. <laughs> All right. Then we've got cucumber gazpacho. Okay. So cucumber, some sour cream. I put some dill in there, cilantro. Again, very refreshing. All right. The, the term cool as a cucumber is from <laughs> cucumbers are 20 degrees cooler than the outside temperature. Really? So yeah, so in the 17th and 18th century, physicians would recommend people with a fever to lay on cucumbers because they have such cooling property. They're okay. made of 95% water. So cool as a cucumber came from there. I, 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 I definitely learned something. <laughs> there you go. Yes. And then we have strawberry watermelon gazpacho. So Ooh. again, not well, much to on the say sweet there. Side, there. On the sweet side, I yes. did put a little bit of salt and a little bit of spice as well, some jalapeno, so it's kind of in between. Well, but a lot of very people refreshing. eat a little salt on their watermelon. Yep, so. exactly. It brings so. out the natural sugar in the fruit. So, so yeah. you want me to give this a shot? Give it a shot. Now, what is in this gazpacho? So this one is tomatoes, jalapeno. It does have a little bit of spice, some garlic, some scallions, some celery, and then the bread. <laughs> and I love the little spoon. I know, the baby <laughs> spoon for the baby jar. <laughs> Here we go. It's different. I, like it. I love the tomato in it. Yeah. 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 So mm. that again is the classic and yeah. you can make it as spicy as you want. The point here mm. is that variation There's is levels. the key. I'm, I'm experiencing it because yes. it's the first time tasting it. Yes. It's very good. Yeah, it, it is. It has levels Savory. of flavor. It, it does. Yes. It does. And it kind of bites you in a few seconds. You yeah. kind of feel that spice. It's on Boop. the back. <laughs> that, it, on the back. On the back. I can feel it in the back yeah. of my throat. Yeah. You, feel, you, get that, you get that spice on yeah, the back side. Exactly. Yeah. So a great side dish to barbecues, your last oh, minute yeah. grilling before kids go back to school. I know some already have. Mm -hmm. um, but a great meal by itself as well. Put a protein with it and oh. some bread and you've got a great meal as well. I could see that with some grilled chicken yeah. or some maybe some shrimp. Sure. Oh yeah. Absolutely. That would be wonderful. Yeah. All right. We're going to come back here in just a few months. She's going to show some other great stuff as well. Yeah. Other great vegetables and fruits that you can take part in. Keep yourself hydrated during this hot weather. But if you want to learn more, go to eatrightrx.com. We'll be back with more daytime coming up in just a few months.